If you guys want to be natural, you guys want to promote natural being natural, but well, here's natural. Hey guys, it's me Clarissa here on Clarissa Says, where Clarissa says it all and that is how I feel. So I'm, I'm doing this video outside just because I feel like I need a little bit of nature for this topic and for this video. So bear with me on the wind, guys. However, this is a very, very controversial topic for the African American black people community due to the fact that this is dealing with a melanated child that has been uh, booked to model for H&M. So if you guys have not seen this photo, here it is near. And this is the pretty little girl that they have on their website modeling one of their hoodies and other items within their collection. Now, the controversy of this child is of course her hair as we all can see. Her hair seems to be undone as we can put it. Basically not brushed, not oiled, not combed, not creamed, not, not taken care of properly, not healthy, just not done. Now, if everyone was saying that basically this child should have had some extra control, she should have had a brush, she should have had some gel, and her mother should have taken the, you know, the initiative to make sure that her child's hair was done properly before her taking her child to this booking to then be publicly placed on a H&M website. Now, I will say that the website itself actually showcases other children that also have seemingly untouched hair but at the same time this child's hair being quote unquote untouched is a different level like this girl's hair has looks like it hasn't been brushed or combed even if they're saying the goal of the shoot is to showcase kids after school the other kids hair it looks as if there was a hairstylist that put the hair into ponytails and kind of played with it to give it more of a messy look um even if the hair was down play with it a little bit so that it looks more messy and in this case they didn't even give this girl no oil sheen they didn't give her any anything it's just okay she came as she, she's perfect in character y'all and I'm just saying, I don't feel as though there's nothing wrong with her having natural hair. And trust me, you guys already know my channel. I, I rock my natural hair all the time. But I do think there's a level of respect. And I think there's also a level of consideration that we're going to have this child on these social media websites and on this website and spread around the world. And this is the look that we have this young girl on showcasing our, our clothing so it's like i know for a fact they wanted controversy i know for a fact that they said you know what we do this there's going to be an enrage of the black community and this is going to push our our product even further because now they're going to spread it around they're going to instagram it they're going to twitter it they're going to comment they're going to post it on their pages they're going to talk about it do videos about it and it's going to get a uh, media traction and this is what they do countless times they do this all the time with the black community they play with us and they get us in a raw raw mode and then they make thousands of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars off of us being enraged about topics like this now is this worth getting enraged i would say yes but at the same time is it really worth getting enraged i will also say no because this is something that as a culture we need to start to embrace like people talking about edge control and and in jail but that that little girl don't really need no etching show in no jail. She don't need all of, she doesn't need all that. All she needs is a good brush and a good comb. Her hair would still look just as natural. It would still look and it would still be in her natural state. I think the problem is that her hair looks so unhealthy. I think what people are failing to understand is that I don't think a lot of people have the problem with her having her natural state with her hair the way that it is. We appreciate the fact that you guys did a shoot with this little girl hair in her natural state to show her for her true you know her true self but the problem is is that you have this little girl out there with her hair untouched and somebody could have brushed her up somebody could have combed her up you don't need to use no edge control you don't need to use no gel to touch up that little girl's hair that's the problem 
that's the problem for kind of like mocking the fact that you're natural like oh you guys want to be natural you guys want to promote natural being natural well here's natural like that's that's the problem I feel as though it's like a mocking to us when to have someone from our culture put on a website promoting a jacket that <laughs> that doesn't have her hair properly touched. I'm not gonna say that's the proper way to brush it up, but yeah, it kind of is. You should not have somebody on there with the hair looking unhealthy. You know, and there's people that you guys pay to fix these kids up. And I know for a fact those other kids got fixed. You can tell those other kids' hair did not come just exactly that messy. Y'all know that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those other kids' hair did not come that messed up. I'm not saying that messed up compared to her hair. I'm thinking that messed up to the fact that how the pictures came out. And I'll show you guys right now so you understand what I'm saying. This kid's hair, like, for instance, like, right, it didn't come, like, she didn't even walk in that mess up. They like the girl who's around the guy off the bed. Down with no girl that just played on the playground. Come on. Come on. Now, our hair, she came from school, like, just from off the playground. And you can tell, okay, great. Her mom probably brushed it up in the morning. She probably sweated out. Okay. But before the shoot, guess what you're going to do? Brush it up again. You don't need a gel edge control. You just need to put it together. That's all I feel. I, and I feel like I'm glad that they actually had her natural state. I feel like people are missing the point. I feel like people are still conditioned with the term of nappy head. I don't believe in the term of nappy head. I, term, I believe in terms of four type hair, five type hair, hair that has shrinkage, hair that has tighter curls. And it takes a little bit more time to properly do that type of hair. And if a hairstylist has never seen a style or a type of hair that way, they, for a shoot that makes you like play, they're going to leave it just like that. And I feel like that's what happened. So leave your comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Please go ahead and subscribe, share this video, and like, of course, always. And I will see you on my next video. Please let me know how you feel about this video or this topic on this video. And I'm out. Peace, love, and tranquility.